In IV induction agents, we have four agents: propofol, thiopentone, etomidate, and ketamine. Okay. अब क्या होता है propofol और etomidate? Whenever you have uh, any friends in your MBBS group, you must have realized that in the group, most of the people are very similar to each other. लेकिन एक येड़ा आदमी होता है एक क्रेजी आदमी होता है who's always different from others. Okay. So if three people will order a dish of, uh, we'll say today we are going to eat vegetarian. so this fourth person will always say no mujhe to aaj chicken hi chahiye if three people order vodka this person will say no mujhe to tequila hi peena hai if three people say today we will go for a movie this person will say no we will go clubbing so always there is one person in the group who will be different from others as compared to the rest of the group but at the end of the day he is a part of your group all of you all do the same thing that is studying for mbbs okay so now what happens is we have a similar group over here if you look and the group contains four drugs propofol thiopentone etomidate and ketamine ab sabka kaam to same hi hai everyone is going to do the same thing and that is everyone is going to make the patient unconscious all these drugs is going to make the patient unconscious okay but if you see ketamine is that yeda or crazy or different friend who has separate properties as compared to propofol thiopentone and etomidate okay so that's why i have divided these drugs into two classes propo thio etomidate in one class and ketamine in the other class so now let's have a look at what is the effect now we all know that the ultimate effect of all of these drugs is to make the patient unconscious but when we give them iv they also act on the other systems of the body okay so if you look at your heart if you look at the cardiovascular system can you tell me yesterday i taught you in general anesthesia whenever we give propothio etomidate or we give any kind of induction agents what happens to the heart rate what happens to the blood pressure what happens yeah so okay so the heart rate will fall how will it fall the sa node is suppressed sa node is suppressed okay what will happen to the blood pressure this is more important we have studied yesterday in monitoring class so the blood pressure will fall and this is because of vasodilation okay but as i told you ketamine is that yeda friend or crazy friend who is different from the other drugs so in case of ketamine you will see that the heart rate and the blood pressure is going to increase heart rate and blood pressure both both is going to increase okay so from this we get one mcq that you remember yesterday govinda was going on the road and he got hit by the auto rickshaw and there was trauma and bleeding so govinda came with a low blood pressure he came in shock because there was trauma and there was low blood pressure or hypotension because of bleeding okay so if your patient comes with shock trauma hypotension bleeding any of these cases then in that case your iv induction agent of choice will be ketamine okay so this is one of the important things that keeps coming again and again about uh, ketamine in the exam in case of shock hypotension or trauma the iv induction agent of choice is ketamine okay all right now as i told you blood pressure will decrease with propofol etomidate with ketamine it will increase now if we look at the intracranial pressure okay pressure in the cranial cavity again propofol etomidate will decrease the intracranial pressure and iop is intraocular pressure pressure in the eye so intraocular pressure is also decreased by these on the other hand ketamine is the opposite friend crazy friend yeda friend so what does ketamine do ketamine increases both of them from here we get two more mcqs about ketamine so they ask that in case of head injury or in case of and intracranial i c m writing over here in your notes you write intracranial in case of intracranial lesion or a tumor which of the anesthetic agents is contraindicated okay so which anesthetic agent is contraindicated in head injury where there is trauma bleeding raised icp or in case of an intracranial lesion where again because of the tumor there is raised icp there will be contraindication to ketamine okay next thing is intraocular pressure is increased so in which condition will ketamine be contraindicated so in case of glaucoma you will have increased intraocular pressure 
So in case of a patient with glaucoma, ketamine is contraindicated as the anesthetic agent. All right. So these are the MCQs that come about ketamine. And this is because ketamine has different properties as compar compared to propothiol. Okay. 